All right, greetings to peace folks. Welcome to episode 41 of my gameplay commentary Final Fantasy 16. This is yours truly, Bionic Handsome Francis Common. As you can see, the beauty of this place. Wow. Now, the only question is, what's the story behind this big hole? <laughs> okay, let's go and uh, continue with our, you know, quest here. Speak with Theodore. Okay, there's there are no more uh, side quests available. So, what's the plan? What else? We find the cast stones and we crush them. You get your traders passed back, and I make Boglad a safe place again. All right then. All right then. Honza, where are they camped? Don't worry. They'll never know you told us. Couldn't if I wanted to. They always come to town to collect the passes. Meet us outside the gate. I tried following them once, but they spotted me halfway down the trail. Said they'd string me up. We'll try it this time. Which way were they going? Back down the road towards Leighton's Cleft. To Leighton's Cleft, then? Laney's cleft is to the south past the camp. All right, folks. So uh, as I've said, you know this this game is really uh, that, that. a beautiful, uh, you know, uh, towns. But that's just it. Those are towns some you know uh you know secondary place i have not seen a place like uh, rabanaster rabanaster like place Really? That's the one who's been sticking his nose in our business. Well, we needed a. Uh... You should have minded your own. I doubt these are the ringleaders. But at least we know we're on the right track. Um. Uh, yep. Come on. So the others have chocobos as well. Be safe. Stop hitting yourself. Wolford soldiers. Fewer now. Not their headquarters. Ha! Not a bad hole today, eh? 
Aye. Some of our new recruits are natural born ne'er do wells. Especially the little ones. That Hans has got nimble fingers, all right. <laughs> It'll be a shame when they chop them off. But till then, let's make the most of it. Scum. The leaders of the cast stones, I take it. They don't deserve any mercy, Clive. And then shall we begin? Not showing them any. We're ready when you are, Theodore. Oh, I'm ready. Fuck! It's that guard from Bockland. Kill him! Kill them all! And they say crime doesn't pay. Gold chains, rings, purses. Ah, and traders' passes. Dozens of them. Have the names been changed? Not yet. I recognize some of them. No doubt Gootz's is somewhere among them. Now I just need to sort through it all and return everything to the people it was taken from. We should go and give Eloise the good news. Can we leave things here in your hands, Theodore? Of course. Oh, and, uh, be sure to tell her of the part I played, won't you? We'll be glad to. All right, so
All right, so we have to finish this episode 41 and we have to get out of this region already. Wait a second. That's better. Better already. Uh, we just have to buy some. Yeah, that's unfortunate because the, uh, you know, these Dalmechians can't get some. You know some of the their provisions Let me carry your goods. I'm cheap. because of the what are you looking for the lack of um mother Many crystals thanks. a fine choice many thanks Sure, you don't need it. Thank you. Farewell. Ah, Clive. How goes the hunt? My brother isn't getting in your way, I trust? Quite the opposite. So it was the cast stones who were behind it all. Theo told me he'd been on their trail. And their demise solves three problems at a stroke. That of the pickpockets, the bandits pulling their strings, and the passes they were stealing. I only hope yours is among the items you recovered. Only time and Theo's return will tell. Speaking of whom... Welcome home, dear brother. You are too kind, Eloise. Here, Clive. Goods is pass. Ask him to keep a closer eye on it from now on, would you? I will. Thank you. El, I've asked our boys to carry the rest of the goods back. Can I count on your help in sorting through it all? Of course. I'll make some space in the store. I expect you'll soon be on your way. But it wouldn't do to leave without introducing yourself properly. Would it now? Sit. Hmm. How do you know that? Don't look so shocked. We're on the same side. I don't understand. As you now know all too well. We at the Crimson Caravans are always happy to help those in need. For a small fee, we will move anything that needs moving. Be that goods to market, or bearers away from it. I was the first my sister helped escape. If it wasn't for her, I'd have been branded as a boy. I had no idea. It just so happens that we are seeking to expand our operation. And who better to join forces with than the leader in the field? Wouldn't you agree, Theo? I would. It seems our purpose is the same in more ways than one. So what would you say to working together again? It would be our pleasure. And our honor. The honor is ours. Here, Clive. This is for you. This, is that the pass? Crimson Compass. What is it? El has friends in high places while I have associates in uh, lower ones. That mark is proof that you're a friend to us both. I shall bear it with pride. Well, all that remains is to wish you a safe onward journey. Goots' path should secure you a place on the caravan, but if you encounter any difficulties, we would be delighted to provide you with a coach of our own. For a discounted price, of course. Say... Nine million? Nine million. Try the caravan.
I have no idea why the oh the breath of lightning thunderstorms reducing thunderstorm by traders pass. Right then. Let's get this back to goods. And then it's on to the Dominion. Something I can help you with? Why I am what you see. It can be a risky business. This being a border town. Crystal leave the minion to carry a final business in the public. And the locals are only too pleased to oblige by winging the wagons down in the lowest spot. But what if a beast or doesn't like a wagon on their own? Do I then post quarters like Or at least, it did. Don't worry about Hanzer and the others. Best of luck, Sid. And how might the Crimson Caravan serve you today? And I wouldn't have it any other way. All the better. <sighs> Fools, the lot of them. Criminals and cowards. So thank you. Farewell then. All right. So uh, I don't know how many side quests have I finished, but I think yes, we can we can see it here. Oh. Oh, so there are three side quests. Okay, so before we go through here, that's the rule. So we got already 50 side quests out of the way and and they said that um, they got 72 side quests plus 32 hunts. So there's a, still a lot of content here. So let's go and try to get some... Pardon me, but would you happen to be a... That well-notched steel and impressive physique. I have need of a sword for hire and yours looks to be a weapon well worth the coin. Might you be convinced to offer me the use of those formidable arms? How exactly do you intend to use them? Well, being something of a scholar of Zemeckian history, I wish to investigate the ruins near the city. And I require a rugged companion, lest I find myself waylaid by ne'er-dwells or the beasts sent to roam the area. Should you accept, you will not only earn yourself material wealth, but partake of the true treasure that awaits us there. The rich and storied history of Zemeckis. Well, were you ever party to a finer proposition? My arms are yours. Wonderful. Then come. We must away. But where are we going? Along the old Zemeckis road. And from there, onward to discovery. Quickly. There is not a moment to lose. Wait. <sighs> Good luck with your Nando Wells.
Better make sure he doesn't get himself killed. Let's talk to some other quest giver first before we proceed to those. Something worth celebrating for a change. Only trouble is, the serving girl's still new to the job, so I can't leave her while I go and invite those I'd like to celebrate with. What exactly are you celebrating, if you don't mind me asking? I've come by a particularly fine bottle of red. A Gotan 66, no less. Gotan Rouge is the only good thing to have ever come out of the Empire. And most wouldn't part with a 66 if you held a knife to their fruits. So I've heard. Oh, so you know of it then? Clearly, you're a gentleman of taste. A gentleman who might sympathize with my predicament, perhaps? Would you pass the good news to a few friends of mine? I'll give you a little something for your time, of course. Sounds simple enough. So you'll do it? Marvelous. Thank you. You won't need to go far. All three of them should be right here in the market. There's Aldrich, the porter, Milan, the butcher, and Bollock, a guard over at the north gate. Three of the finest fellows in Bocklad, if you ask me. Tell them to come to the tavern when they finish for the day. Stop by again when you let them know, and I'll give you your little something. <laughs> I'll be right back. Well, this is the thing that really bothers some of the Final Fantasy uh, 16 players, is that the uh, side quests are uh, boring or something, but... um. I'll give him that. I'll give them that. It kind of sounds as, uh, you know, when the story is already in here, in this progression, I'm ex expecting some kind of a more difficult Hi. task. I've been asked to find Aldrich, the porter. I don't suppose that's you, is it? That's me right enough. You need something delivered. The innkeeper sent me. He said there's a cup of Gotan 66 with your name on it when you're done for the day. A 66? Look at me. If he's just got hold of it now, it must have been in the crates he had me carry down from San Breck. From the Empire to Boklad. He must be a braver man than most. That's a treacherous route to the best of times. Uh, such is the porter's lot. There's not a patch of storm these feet haven't traipsed across. They'd Soraflam one day, then off to Canva the next. The farther you're willing to go, the fatter the purse. Which is why there's no shortage of competition for some of the longer routes. I'd say I've done enough for today to earn myself a cup of something tasty. Thanks for letting me know. All right, Jill. I know that you're bored, but come on. Let's um continue this um this easy side quest. Stops next to the checkpoint. Are you Milan, the butcher? That's me. What can I do for you? The innkeeper's just had a special delivery. He thought you might like to join him for a cup of wine after you pack up for the day. <laughs> he knows me only too well. And I've got a ham here that will go handsomely with a nice drop. Wine and ham to spare. Barclay clearly isn't suffering then comes with being the place everyone has to pass through to get to everywhere else. Those who travel the Crystal Road bring all manner of goods with them. We get meat from San Breck, herbs from Rosaria. Why, sometimes we even see curiosities from across the Narrow. My old man knew what he was about when he set up shop here all those years ago. Anyway, thanks for the good news. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll shut up shop early. Wouldn't want to keep our friend waiting. Won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. Tight fists. Let us through. I'm looking for Bolek. I was told he'd be guarding the gate. Well, you found him. You're not here to enlist, I take it. The innkeeper sent me. He's just taken delivery of a rare vintage, a Gotan 66. He thought he might like a cup. 
never said no to a goat hand. I'm not about to start now. Thanks for letting me know. You must be a busy man. The market would be flooded with refugees if we weren't here to stem the flow. Oh, my heart goes out to them, all right. We've got our orders. No papers, no passage. Plenty try to slip past us nonetheless. And every now and then, one of them's foolish enough to try and force their way through. And when they do, well, things can get nasty. You know what? That wine's sounding better by the moment. Yeah, just look Done. at this. The Excalibur sword. A cup of that wine. Remember when half the people coming through here were the traitors? You should come with me to the Dominion. You won't find anything of this quality in Twinside. I hope the Twinside City, you know, we can get to the capital of Twinside. your friends they'll be along soon that's fantastic news thank you kindly it's been a while since we all sat down together and the way i see it that wine is as much theirs as it is my own how so well i wouldn't be serving anything but slops without oldrich to go and fetch the good stuff for me and then there's milan who always sends customers my way and bollock an even-handed keeper of the peace if ever there was one those three are the backbone of Boklad. Lose any one of them, and the market would soon fall apart. And without the market, I wouldn't have a single customer. <laughs> I'd say that's worth a bottle of 66, wouldn't you? <laughs> and more besides. Everyone needs a shoulder to lean on. Be they world-weary innkeepers or brooding swordsmen. Right, I'd better prepare for my guest's arrival. I hear you had me carrying a bottle of Gotan 66. If I'd have known, I would have sold the thing and lived like a lord. I'll settle for a cup, though, if you're in a sharing mood. A goat and sixty bloody six. Just as well I had something special of my own set aside. Bottle between the four of us might not be enough to drown our sorrows, but it can't hurt. Here they are, the three pillars of Boklad. <laughs> Sit yourselves down, gentlemen. The woes of the world may be monstrous in many, but there's nothing like a few good friends to keep the misery at bay. Never a true word spoken. Well, we are going to take that, um, you know, reputation, um, addition in the reputations. Uh, Jill, just um, calm down. I know you're, you're itching to go to Twin Sides, but uh, Alright, episode 4 to 1, yes. Okay, let's talk to this lady first. I see you've been of some assistance to Eloise. Perhaps you can extend me the same kindness? Perhaps. What would I be doing? Finding someone. You see, I've been having trouble with thieves, and despite the many pains I've taken, I can't stop them from rummaging through my packs. I was griping about my lot to a friend of mine a few days back, and he offered to track the culprits down. Now, Joseph's a sellsword, and a good one at that. But he's been gone days, and I'm beginning to fear the worst. Any idea where his search for the thieves might have taken him? The 
Old Zemeckis Road, perhaps? He doubted they would be fool enough to linger here in Bucklad. Joseph's lived a hard life. Made him grey long before his time. I just pray he hasn't been killed over a few sacks of grain. Can't imagine there are too many grey-haired cell swords around. Hopefully someone will have seen him. information as a sellsword passed through here gray hair now you mention it there was a young man with salt in his mane sneaking around out there a while back which way did he go i how am i supposed to know i got off down the road i expect now why don't you do the same and leave me be wow that's cool Happily not, good sir. Thanks to your timely intervention. More importantly, we have arrived. Now, feast your eyes upon the marvel before us. Ruins, a relic of the fallen civilization. A sight so common that man is oft blinded to its wonder. Colossal vessels dashed from the very heavens. I think this will be the premise of a sequel if there's a sequel. Such a word might describe. And I hope Final Fantasy 16 has sequel. Does anything strike you as peculiar about this particular specimen? Though we ourselves find fallen ruins to be nigh indestructible, whatever gouged the final sin from the rock cleaved clean through the structure you see before you. A tantalizing mystery, no doubt. But merely one of countless enigmas in which Zemeckian history is steeped. Come, good sir. Our expedition continues, and we still have much to learn. Hmm. He's passionate. I'll give him that. I don't want any trouble. Neither do I. I'm looking for someone. A grey-haired mercenary. Well, we haven't seen him. Yes, we have. We saw him climbing up the rocks. Those ones, over there. Maybe he found his thieves. Mum won't let me near them. She said there's goblins up there, and that they eat little boys for dinner. Shush, now. You've said quite enough already. I only told him what you said. I'd listen to your mother if I were you. Did 
Joseph's thieves really lock their stolen wares all the way out here. Yeah, this has the uh, feel of Final Fantasy XII in it as well, also, folks. That's a little um, difficult for a level 30 uh, goblin. Let's get this over with. Is, Stop. Is that the gray haired? Don't kill him, he's just protecting his home. Joseph? So the boy was right. I don't know you. Your porter friend sent me to find you. She was worried you might have got yourself killed. Have I been gone that long? It wasn't hard finding the thieves. The problem was knowing what to do with them when I did. I take it things are more complicated than they appear. I'd all but ruled out bandits before I even left the market. You know what that is? Because our thieves had no interest in gold or gems or Anything they couldn't eat for that matter. Add to that the rumors of goblins in the area and the mystery practically solved itself. I soon found their cozy little homestead and all the missing food. I launched myself at them full of righteous fury, but their leader was the only one who moved to meet me. The others, they huddled around that food, ready to die protecting it. They stole because it was that or starvation. I've been there myself, back when times were hard. So you spared them, and earned their trust into the bargain by the look of it. These goblins aren't native to the area. They don't know how to survive such barren lands, so... I've been teaching them. And once they've learned to hunt and forage, they won't be fool enough to risk their necks in Bokalad. I'm impressed. I didn't know goblins could be reasoned with. Do me a favor. Let the porter know I'm safe. I'll head back to the market once my work here is done. Oh, and don't mention the goblins. I don't want people coming here brandishing pitchforks. Not now this lot have sworn off thieving. Your secret's safe with me. I appreciate it. Thank you. They even said thank you also in Goblin voice. Now let's talk to this um
So now this douchebag is being attacked by goblins. And we just saw we just seen some goblins on the other side, you know, several minutes. Oh. Not again. Alright then. What now? You can You're going to get yourself killed. Yeah. Oh no, that would not do. That would not do at all. Not when such majesty stretches out before us. Behold, the final sin in all its glory. Well, I'm not gonna die. Moss tells us a battle was fought here in ancient times. A battle of such ferocity that it tore a great crater in the very land upon which it was waged. In reaching for their holy sanctum, did man enrage the gods, and great was the vengeance that was rained down upon him. Alas, the full truth of the matter is lost to time, though I live in hope that I might see it discovered. But we must not dwell upon such things. There is more yet to see. Onward, history awaits. All right, so where now? Good girl. Faster. This douchebag is gonna get himself killed.
This better be worth it, dumbass. Still in one piece? It would seem so. Once more, I am in your debt. And once more, you impress me with your prowess. These were no ordinary foes, but ones we in the field call Echoes. Though Moss, the chronicler, concurs with the legends in attributing the fall of Zemeckis to a wrath wrought upon mankind by the gods, he offers little in the way of explanation. Could the ruins we see before us here, in all their elaborate beauty, perhaps suggest an answer? Could the construction of such miraculous edifices have been considered an encroachment upon the province of the divine? Alas. All is mere speculation. One day, perhaps, I will learn the truth. Not if you keep running headfirst into trouble. You are right, of course. And not only have you plucked me repeatedly from the jaws of death, you have proven yourself a willing audience to my ramblings. Oh, you are better. Like help, but didn't you say you came here to investigate something? Yeah. I fear I may have rather overstated the case on that front. In truth, a captive ear was all I really desired. Oh, you, you see. see. Even my fellow scholars have grown somewhat weary of my musings of late. And so I came upon the idea of purchasing a companion. A captive audience, if you will. That's what this was all about. I am afraid so. And now, my good man, it is high time we returned whence we came. Fine. Just don't go running off this time. Hmm, just in time, so we can just talk to the lady whom we can um we can and inform so that the grey haired mercenary is fine. Here, your reward for humoring my selfish whims, plus a little extra for the trouble I have put you to. Joseph's fine. Be back once he's tied up a few loose ends. <sighs> That's a weight off my shoulders. He certainly knows his business. He found your thieves all right. And I dare say they won't be coming back. A good man to have around, that Joseph. And if he says there'll be no more thieving, that's good enough for me. Thank you for putting my mind at ease. Here. Now, come yeah, if you're good at something, never do it for free, as Joker said. Alright, so we did a lot of good things this episode. So, uh, three side quests. Okay, there are no more side quests here. Let me carry your goods. I'm Out of my sight, French. You won't find a finer array this side of the strait. A fine choice. Get a lot of selling. You're sure you don't need it? Just what I was looking for. You're sure you don't need it? Okay, so that's it for the uh, the side quest in this um, place.
What is this place again? Local map of the Dalmakna Republic. Boklad. Alright. So what is this? Stops next. Did you hear about the Empire's black shields? Apparently, they've been going around Imperial lands stringing up bearers. Huh. What a waste! What wow. I really want to be is a little... Here you are, good. Try not to lose it again. Me pass! You found it! Oh, thank you so much. Nan would have killed me if I'd come back without it. I'll have to say thanks to Ellen, Theo, too. So should you, Hanza. You and your friends don't have to steal anymore. If anyone threatens you again, you know who to turn to. We do. And we already have. Ms. Ell's given us a job shifting the chocobo shit out the stables. And it's hard work, and the pay isn't half what we got from the stones. But if we stick at it, we'll keep ourselves fit. <laughs> you stick at it, then. And Goots, I'm sorry for stealing your pass. Uh, that's all right. I've got it back now. Uh, and all's well that ends well, eh? You said you're trained to be a blacksmith, right? Well, I'm gonna be your first customer. I'm gonna save up all my gear and get you to make me a massive sword. Oh, I'll do me best. <laughs> Till then, eh? on the wagon. Remember, Goots, we're mercenaries. You hide us to protect you. But mercenaries... <laughs> and you remember the plan? You're to ride all the way to Twinside. Jill and I will go with you as far as the outskirts, then find our own way in. I'll buy that stuff I need. Right. And we'll scout out the Imperials' defences. There's a square with a big bell tower right in the middle of town. If you get lost, or out goes wrong, we can meet up there. All right. Let's go. Side seat of the Imperial Court. All right, we're near the end of episode 41. Quite certain your father has no knowledge of Ultima. I am. I have no difficulty believing a sinister force has come to exert an influence on San Breck. But be that as it may, it is yet to claim my father. For better or worse. His radiance speaks his own mind. Then the fiend works from the shadows. I confess, when first you told me of this fiend, I had my doubts, and more than a few at that. A beast that labors to plunge Valisthea into turmoil, all in pursuit of your brother. But that wound is proof enough that evil is afoot. I have your answer, your highness. You will join me in my fight. I cannot. Not yet. Your highness, please. As you are aware, the Dalmekian army is at our gates. They have lost their mother crystal, and with it all hope of a negotiated withdrawal. It is but a matter of time before they invade. Even though Titan is no longer with them? Muhammad is not here to meet them. My people will be slaughtered. Fair enough. That's a fair. Though not by Hugo Kukka, 
belongs to Ultima's machinations. I know the fate of your people weighs heavy on your conscience, but if we do not put an end to Ultima's plans, they shall face a far darker fate. The chaos he would wreak would sweep all of Valisthea into the abyss. The lives of every man, woman, and child in the Twins are at stake. I believe what you say, Phoenix. But I have duties of my own, and I must discharge them. Come what may. Well, he's a true soldier, and a true subject of the Empire. But... What do you know of my blood? I know that it is wholly unworthy of the highest offices of state, which rightly belong to those of purer breeding. Alas. Your bloodline runs through the Oriflam gutter, from a whore who weighed her child's worth in Gil. Have you threatened my father? <laughs> of course not. I merely whispered in his ear. That his mongrel son is plotting a rebellion. What? Sylvester listens to the words of his astrologers. And they have ears too. You have been feeding them your lies! Should you remain loyal to Emperor Olivier, his radiance may yet crown your head with laurel. And not with tar. <sighs> Fork-tongued wits! In consideration of your long years of service to the Empire, I shall forgive this uncharacteristic rudeness. Now hurry and make ready, Your Imperial Highness. Can she... Emperor Olivier expects much of you, Dion. Or should I say, of Bahamut. May your fire reduce his enemies to ash. Till all of Phalisthea bows to its rightful ruler. Phoenix. Can this woman feel that Joshua is still alive? another darkness that has taken hold of Sandbrack. And until its grip is released, the flames of war shall spread ever wider, just as ultimate All right. Wishes. Thank you, everyone. God bless you all and stay safe out there, folks. My family has caused you much grief. We continue episode 42. Keeper, Phoenix. This is a matter for the Imperial household.